going on guys? So we have made it to LA. Currently ordering food. I can't even check into my hotel. Well, I'm at the hotel, but I can't check into my room until like noon. And it's it's 9 15. So I'm about to eat, find somewhere to lay down because I ain't running off an hour and a half of sleep. And yeah, I'm supposed to go work out later. I'm gonna save my big deal of day till tomorrow and that's really about it, but I'll let you guys know when I check into my room. I'm about to eat my food and chill, so. Just made it to my room. Like I told you guys, I'm running off an hour and a half of sleep. I am about to just chill. Not much to do today, so talk to you guys later. What's up, guys? So it's kind of late right now. It's eight, about to be nine o'clock. I'm literally about to head to the gym right now to get a session in because tomorrow I won't have the ability to do so because they don't have comp equipment at the gym that we're going to. So I'm going to knock it out tonight and tomorrow that way I can be present and just enjoy the team building the activities. So yeah. I really don't want to train right now, but I got to. Got to make it happen. But to, I'm waiting on Uber, so I'll head out soon. What's up, guys? So we are at Zoo Culture right now. I'm about to get this Dello session in. I got roughly 50 minutes to get this session in. About to start warming up. I have two plates on the bar and about to knock this out. So wish me luck. so good um right now we have i believe 848 pounds on the bar then we're gonna after this one go ahead and go to the top set and call it for this workout so everything's going fine right now just gotta lock in for these last two reps probably do like one or two back offs then call the uber and head back to the hotel but almost done gotta do what you gotta do So I contemplated going up, but we have 422 and a half kilos on the bar, which is 931.4 pounds, whatever. So hopefully this goes well. The last rep is iffy. Like I said, I'm not really feeling it. My body is right from traveling all day, lack of food and everything. I'm gonna still try and push this and get it. If it feels like it's gonna be a, a really bad struggle, I'm probably just gonna drop it. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully. I might have put my headphones in so I can lock in real fast. So that wasn't the prettiest rep uh, in the world. Ended up tweaking my lower back. Something, I don't know what tweak. It's not an injury, I don't think. I can still move around. I just feel discomfort. And that's the first like thing of discomfort that I've done like all prep. Yeah. I knew I should have called it after that 848, but my ego needs to stay on track. So uh, paid the price. Uh, hopefully I'll be fine in the morning. Hopefully nothing terribly is wrong. I'm just gonna rest tomorrow. I'll do some mobility work, make sure I'm moving around and just do everything I can to, you know, finish this prep healthy. Uh, that was a mistake on my behalf. I should have been a smart athlete and you know, knew that that was gonna happen. Like I, I felt I felt off going into the session, so I should have called it. But it is what it is. But I called the Uber, head back to the hotel and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the morning or when I get back out. So guys, so today is on oh no, the date, August 11th. And just arrived not so long ago. We're about to get ready to head to the gym. We have a team building event as well as some con like a content day. Then after that, we're gonna go to the venue to get a look around, get some backstage shot, and you know, just, just hanging out with the team. So today should be an easy day. Tomorrow is where all the fun happens. So about to head downstairs in a second to meet up with everyone. We have to leave and get on the bus at nine. So. We got 20 minutes.
making that shit cool. Spread out, we're gonna start with the airstrikes. Yeah, let's begin nice and warm. Well, I'm back right now. I am tired. <laughs> I was cardio. Yeah. I'm a powerlifter. This ain't it, Chief. I'm tired. Cardio is not my thing. I'm a powerlifter. I lift weights. I don't move things fast. Oh, yeah. On to the next event. We're one up. But that's the end of the team building stuff. I think right now what people are going to do is get content with each other, make random TikToks if they want to, and yeah, just get a workout in. So I made you get a pump. My back feels a little bit better right now um, after moving around a lot, but we'll see how it feels. I took it last night. When you were at Zoom? Yeah. Doing what? Delta. What did you, what'd you pull? No, I'm thirsty. So, as soon as immediately after I got off the ground, I just felt something cool. Did you check to see if it was bent? Because they have, what are you doing out in Texas? Yeah. Their Texas was are fucking bent. bent. They look brand new, man. Okay, maybe. Well, it was a new suit problem. I, I, didn't, I didn't warm up either, so. Oh, ah, uh, fuck. It was my fault. It was my fault. But movement is key to health, so. Been moving around all morning, as you've seen. I uh, feel a little bit better, about to hydrate. What time is it? I think lunch gets here in like 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just doing chill for now. Until I get ready to work out. So uh, right now we're helping Joy. She is two weeks off from IPF Worlds where she's gonna go and win, hopefully. Win? <laughs> win bench. Yeah, yeah, hopefully hopefully win bench. Hopefully I podium. It's my first year of junior, so. What would you think that? Two? What? Uh, 259. Pause. As a game. Yeah, yeah. But right now I'm helping her out because we don't have, like last night I didn't have any kilo plates to lift my, like, to my comp standard. I'm three weeks out, she's two weeks out. And I understand her frustration and she has to get a workout in, but she also wants to be present and be around everyone. And she's 19? Yeah, 19. Let's she's a baby. So, here helping her out, make sure everything goes smooth as well. Because yeah. if you're mentally frustrated the last couple of weeks of prep, she's gonna get thrown off and I want her to, you know, have a bad competition. She's just getting started, so. And my coach literally made me promise him that I would eat my meal prep and train, so gotta get it done. So I'm just here helping out right now. Let's get this shit. There it is. Start. Girl just grinding like, her life. <laughs> there it is, nothing there. <laughs> it started slipping, so. This is my hands. Yeah, I know. Do you have chalk? I, no, I, I, yeah. you have some? You have chalk? I have some of that. I have some. Okay, I need yeah. it. They're still here, yeah. Well, for a bench, uh, yeah. Also. Start. Press. Yo! Yeah! 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 That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. That's like a RPE 8.5. That's, that's, that's RPE 8.5. Flex 8. Good 
so, so guys, we just finished up Help and Joy. About to eat here in a second before, well, I'm gonna work out real fast and eat. Um, and we go back to the hotel around like 2.30ish. And we leave from there, go to the venue. Man, I'm out of breath on those stairs, bro. Dude, that's a lot of stairs. Fuck, bye. Yeah, about to get my bag and stuff and get ready to get this workout in before the food gets here, then head back to the hotel. So I'm about to just do some lower body accessories and back. Um, just give it like a quick pump in and get some work in. So I'm gonna do some RDLs. I'll probably do some legs, some like leg extensions, leg curls maybe, and just do back stuff. So I'm about to knock this out real fast. at the place the magic happens I'll check this out <laughs> welcome everyone it is absolutely fucking amazing to have you all here in LA some of you guys I think we're here from whose phone's that some of you guys were here from some of the really early days of Jim Shark when we had no money we had no clue what we were doing and this is, this is all we knew how to do it was like a couple of us in a rental car with a couple of athletes and we'd like rock up in a park somewhere and just hope that people turned up. Luckily they did. Back in those days there definitely wasn't cute little room packages like you all get these days. There definitely wasn't beautiful venues like this. When we did this in Manchester I got some live feedback from Whitney and Libby that they didn't feel that I had an opportunity to take photos and shit because they were too busy. So at the end of this you can take all the photos you want, all the not photos, all that stuff. With all that being said I'm going to give you a tour of the venue and then you can do your own thing. Everybody ready? Truly, 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 we are so, so pleased to have every one of you here. Like we've got athletes that have been with the brand for a very long time, not naming any names. We've got new athletes. It's genuinely amazing to have you all here. Like, fitness exploded again, as you all know, right, on TikTok over the, like, during COVID and stuff like that. We couldn't get out and do these events. So we know that so many people are craving these actual experiences, and that generation of like fitness kids has never done it. We've got 15,000 people coming out over the next like, 48 hours to see you all, which is so like, fucking incredible, right? But now we're all here, obviously, we want to maximize it, right? So one final favorite from us is... Yeah, Jim Shark on three. One, two, three! Jim Shark! Woo! So, so far, this looks dope as hell. We'll see tomorrow. You said we hit sold 15,000 tickets, and there's still more to be sold, and there's no telling how many people are actually going to show up tomorrow, so this is dope. Um, you have Ashley uh, meeting greets, like I'm over here on this wall, which is cool as fuck. The venue is dope. Um, overall, great day. Um, I think I'm gonna end the day right here. About to get ready to head back to the hotel, relax, shower, and just vibe out. So we have dinner tonight at like six or seven, I believe. Then tomorrow is the big day, so just trucking along. See you guys in the morning. Welcome to the Shade Parade! You see these guys? I told them they're gonna get stuck and they're gonna get bombed by five hell of people. He has. Should I go make an excuse that they need him in the back so I can get him? Yeah. Let me go save him real fast.
Tunnel and like Jamal's like, should we save Swole? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I see, I seen the dude run with the belt behind you. <laughs> He's like Jamal. And I was like, <laughs> bro, bro, so let's see this video. It's like, oh shit, else. Oh my god, bro. I told no. you, bro, it's it's, it's bad. It's no, I was trying to save Crane. <laughs> she got in the line and she got Swole. Bro, she wanted to get a T-shirt. No. The crazy part is, bro, we made it 15 feet out the door. Yeah, we, didn't go we wasn't even in there for real. I ain't gonna put these shorts on. Okay, I'll put them on. I showed you, Jeff. Yeah. I'm trying to be incognito and I can't be incognito because people know who I am. It's, it's been a wild day. It's only an hour and a half in right now. Um, I haven't even really done anything yet. I don't have my meet and greet till four. Uh, I'm just hanging out, running around, meeting people, and taking pictures, signing belts. Have a good time. So guys, so we are about to go work out right now. Um, I am still on program, so I still have a session to do. I'm not gonna do it tonight after this, because I'm gonna be too tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this pinch workout real fast. Uh, I guess I need some energy, but knock this out with Swole, and after that, just chill out till four. That'll be it for the rest of the day, so I'll be chilling, so. But, uh, work out. Right now we're just you know vibing. Um, we're here till six o'clock, and then after this we're gonna go to the hotel, get food, and chill. But overall, great day. 
Um, tomorrow's gonna be probably just as back, if not the same or more. And I also have a class to teach, so I'll be doing a little bit of stuff tomorrow. Probably gonna do mic'd up for the class too, so it's a good day. But I'll talk to you guys when we get to the hotel. I'm gonna support Flip LA. Three, two, one, cheers LA! What's up guys? Well, welcome to day two of Lift LA. Uh, today I'm going to be a little bit more active. We have a class at, I believe, 11 to 11.45. And after that, I'll probably take like a quick lunch. Then we have our meet and greet from 1 to 4. And I look forward to looking, like I guess, meeting with all you guys today. Um, should be an even better day two, so let's finish it out strong. All right, guys, we're going to start our little Q&As. I'm choosing Q's. So if anyone has any questions, we'll get this area kind of situated. We're gonna go over whatever you guys mostly want. So whether that's tips on squatting, bench and deadlifting, we have one of the best deadlift leaders all around. Now we got this guy. So we can start off with whatever you guys feel comfortable with. We could do deadlifts right now just because we have this set up folks heavy. So if you guys have any questions, you want to get the crowd involved in, if there is anything when it comes down to like technique or any of that, yeah, yeah, feel free to ask. I want about. you to demonstrate how you deadlift and you just going to go over it with the crowd and go through your thoughts on what you think, like you're, you're, pre you're like walking up to the bar, your mindset, how you're going to be bracing, all that. You know? Okay, so how I deadlift this, okay, I have not seen one in a minute, so the main thing is you want to be consistent about your technique, that's the one thing that you can like, maintain when it comes to training. If your technique is always off or you just always doing some random stuff, how can you get better at it if you don't know what's wrong, right? So, I'm very methodical when it comes to my approach. Always set my left foot first. It's like right around the ring, right foot. I stand tall. So, everything is kind of in line. I'm not too close to the bar where, like, I'm like, if you're too close, you can't get any knee flexion. So, it's only one joint that can kind of move the weight, and that would be your hips. When you get a little bit further away, you get a, 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 a ankle uh, joint as well into it, as well as your knee and your hips. So I'm usually about right here. Then I stand tall, brace, lock my belt. Then I brace, go down, set my grip, and pull. So the main thing when it comes to deadlifts is we want to be lower body first more than anything. Don't pull with your upper body. The, the delve is a push, not a pull. So when we start with push, you want to lap the bar, right? A lot of people have this issue where they get way, way too close up to the bar. Once they wedge in, what ends up happening is the bar gets away from them, and then they're out of position, and then they have to bring the bar into it, and then when they pull, then the lockout tweak. So having it where you're a little farther away from the bar, and you're pulling the bar into you when you're wedging in, is one of those big tips that can actually help you. A lot of people actually have the strength, but as soon as they kind of wedge in, and it pushes away from them, and then so when you're right here, don't think like lean or reach for the bar. If I have to lean over a little bit, reach the bar, then do so. Now you're in a better much position, you're more upright, and you need to stand a little better. The moment you just lean over, then try to pull, you can never can no longer get in that other position. So drop your hips first. Then right. It's just a simple change of how you move. So guys, just finished up with that scatter of a uh, powerlifting thing. But I mean, it went well. No, no complaint for me. Next time we need to be more organized, but you know, it is what it is. About to go to the back, eat something, and relax here in a second. And we have the meet and greet from one to four. So, should be a good day.
you on. What's up, guys? So just finished up day two of Lyft LA. Overall, today was much faster, honestly. Like, we got through it much quicker. Like, we're, it's 5 o'clock and it's 5 5, and we're done for today. But that's really about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you were here and you see you in this video, tag yourself, comment below. Like, hopefully, we got a picture together. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but overall, great event, uh, great times with great people. I'm always love working with Gymshark and just the community that they built. Um, this is my second big event. Um, Lift Manchester was my first. This is my second. Um, should be more to come since post COVID. So overall, I loved it. I'm tired. I got another three days here. I got to do photo shoots for Black Friday and some other stuff. Probably that's gonna be on, on another video. But Aunt leaves tonight, so yeah, I'm tired. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.